Hi guys, how you doing? It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, yay! We can go outside, we can walk. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, how'd it go yesterday? Did you try the experiment? Did you put the pepper in the water and you put the, the, the soap on your finger and touched it and it'd go poof, go away? It's so cool. I sent you lots of experiments. You can do some of them, you can make up some yourself. Experiments are very cool because you learn a lot, right? And it's and it's learning how things change and how things stay the same. It's very cool. I like that stuff. Did you um, do your worksheet? Did you do your worksheet? Good. And you figured out which things float and which things sink? Because we kind of do that sometimes anyway. And you can tell when you're in the tub because maybe the soap floats. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? You don't know. You have to figure it out, right? So today I'm going outside because you know what? It's gorgeous. And I was starting to sing a song. You know what I was singing? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. You remember that song? I was singing that song and I was thinking, what could I do with this song? And I thought we could do nursery rhymes because you guys know nursery rhymes. You know a lot of nursery rhymes, right? You know, um, the itsy bitsy spider, exactly. You know, mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? You know that one. You know, baby shark, da, da, do, 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 baby shark, do, do. So I thought we could do a couple of nursery rhymes and then you could do a worksheet and a craft based on the nursery rhymes, okay? And maybe do something outside. We'll talk about outside in a little bit. So what I did was I found some music for nursery rhymes. So I'm going to sing a couple nursery rhymes with you. All right. So get your guitar, get your piano, get your blanket, get comfy, get in front of the, the video and then in front of the TV. And then we're going to sing. Okay. So I think you know these songs. And if you don't look them up, right? All right. Are you back? Yes. You're back. All right, let's try the it's, Itsy Bitsy Spider. Miss Kathy's not gonna do the, the fingers because you know how to do that, all right? I'm just gonna play the guitar for you. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. The Itsy Bitsy Spider Nursery rhymes are fun because the words rhyme and they have beautiful music sometimes. And sometimes you just say them. And a lot of times you can use your fingers when you do it, like the itsy bitsy spider, right? So the, here's another one. This is Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Do you remember that? Let's try it. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. That's it. Do it again. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. See? You know that one too, I think, right? I got one more. Where is Thumpkin? You know, where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. You know that one, right? We'll do that one real quick. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Tall Man? Where is Tall Man? Here I am, here I am. Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is
good. Very good singing. And you could teach mom and dad the rest of them, right? Because you know so many. So you can teach them and then they'll, they'll know what to do with them, right? So those are nursery rhymes and there's a million of them. And you could make one up yourself if you want. Just take a couple words and put them together and rhyme them. It's very cool. So I have a worksheet for you for, for a nursery rhyme. It's called The Five Little Pigs. And that's the one where um, this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Remember that one? So this is our worksheet. And what's the first thing you always do when you get your worksheet? Always, always write your name. Got to write your name. And then the worksheet goes through the nursery rhyme. So you read the nursery rhyme to mom because you know it and you can look at the words, right? And then they're going to ask you questions like, what did the second pig do in the poem? The first little pig went to market. The second little pig, what? Stayed home. So you can write stayed home. And if you can't write yet on your own, mommy will help you. You can follow the dots or mommy can help you hold your hand or you can tell her the answer and she can write it. Or you can write it yourself because some of you can write really good, right? And then the second uh, question was, where did the first pig go? Where did the first pig go? To market, to buy a, well, to market, right? The first little pig went to market to buy food because, you know, you got to always have food, right? And then the third question, so you're going to write to buy food. And the third question says, draw a picture in the box about what happened to the fourth pig in the poem. So what happened to the fourth little pig in the poem? One, two, three, four. This little pig had no roast beef. Was he happy or sad? I think he was a little sad because he was hungry, right? So you can draw a little piggy in the box that might be a little bit sad with no roast beef, okay? So that's your worksheet. You have to read, read the nursery rhyme, read the questions, and then write the answers, okay? And if you, if you can't read, Mommy and Daddy will help you. But I think you can do this. I think it's not too difficult. All right. When you go outside, you got to go outside today, right? And go outside, you got to look for things. You got to look for insects, like flying insects and crawling insects and where they live, like up high or in the ground. You have to uh, look at all the colors and name all the colors because there's so many colors now. Spring is filled with colors, yellow and red and green and blue sky and yellow sun. And then run around, just keep running because you got to get some of that energy. Um, you know what I was thinking was if you go outside with your brother or your sister, you could have kind of a race. You could do a nursery rhyme like um, Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. And as you're saying each word, you can take one step further and see. So you do a nursery rhyme and you take a step and then your sister does a nursery rhyme and she takes a step for each word and then see how many words there are in the, in the nursery rhymes and how far you get. It's kind of cool. It's a little bit of a thing to do while you're outside. Um, all right. Now, I got craft. Now, the craft is going to be up to you, okay? So what you can do for a craft is there's one thing you can do. You can um, pick a nursery rhyme and print out the words. You can find them online or mommy can type them out for you, but they're, they're there. Just look up nursery rhymes for preschoolers and fit, pick out a nursery rhyme and print out the words, like maybe about that big, and glue them on a piece of paper. And then with markers or crayons or colored pencils, you have to illustrate it. That means you draw pictures about it all over and you have your own nursery rhyme. If you do more than one, you do like three, two or three of them, you could make a book and put them together. And then you could read it. You could read it to mom and dad and your brother or your baby. You could read it to Miss Kathy when you come back to school. You could bring it to me. So you can do that. And if you want, you can make um, a character from one of the nursery rhymes. Like the Itsy Bitsy Spider, you could make a spider. Or the Five Little Pigs, you could make Five Little Pigs. Some of that stuff you can find online. But um, I didn't send you that. I just sent you the worksheet because you could do whatever you want with the nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes are very cool. It, when you're doing these nursery rhymes, keep in mind that they're in books and you can read them. You know how to read them, right? You have your special books and you know what they, what they sound like and what the words are. So I want you to do that too. And I want you to sing to mom and dad while they're making dinner. Don't forget to put your toys away and clean off the doorknobs and the light switches and make your bed if you can. Make your bed. And wash your hands. How long? 
20 seconds, 20 seconds, no more germs. We want no more germs. We want to go back to school. No more germs. And I want you to, maybe you could bake, make a book nook again and get all your nursery rhyme books and sit in the book nook and read all your nursery rhymes because that you can do without even anybody reading to you because you know them, right? All right. I love you and I miss you. I miss you a lot. And I love getting your videos and your pictures. And even when you just call and say, I love you, Miss Kathy. I love, love, love that. So you be careful and you wash your hands and you stay clean. And then I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Bye.